Hello, good morning, students. How are you? I hope so. You must be enjoying your online classes today. Something different, you know. This also should be tried in a different way. Fine, students. Before me, uh, many student, uh, many teachers must have taken your classes, and you hope that you must be enjoying all these classes a lot over there. Fine, students. Today, this video will go in all the three classes. So, first of all, yesterday I congratulated class 9th Haven. And today I am congratulating to all the three section. Uh, congratulations, you people have upgraded to the next class, the first senior class. So, be happy but be responsible because senior class doesn't mean just to fun and frolic only. Senior class means a lot of burden also. A lot of stress of studies. Studies will not be as easy as up to class 8 for you. A bit higher fine so students uh, if i talk about uh, this uh, online class as it has been told by all the teachers and all the teachers are regularly informing you yesterday me and kiran ma'am have also informed you that we are having the classes like so and uh, today i'm having this english class i think this is fourth or fifth lesson with you and before that teachers, before me, teachers must have taken your lessons. I hope you must be understanding. Students, maintain the rough copies as yesterday also we have informed you. Because uh, new notebooks and books are not available yet. So you, you must be having many rough, uh, fair notebooks of the previous year. Uh, which can be utilized as rough for you. So whatever, in whichever subject or whatever teachers you are teaching. So please keep with you in touch. Because... Uh, uh, doing nothing will make you waste, spoil or you will forget everything else. So to just keep you revise the things or you keep you start with the new things, with the new studies and all that. We are keeping you in touch with the help of these online classes. So I hope so you will uh, understand the utilization of these online classes. It is not just fun you have at home. Your first chapter is also of the same. The fun we had at home, it is a little bit related to these online classes only but we will discuss this later on when we will go with that chapter so don't take it lightly just as an enjoy and all that take the chapter seriously make a particular place every day according to timetable and sit on that place and regularly as the teachers videos are coming uh, keep on looking that the first 15 minutes you keep on looking that videos and the next 15 minutes, you just keep on revising or asking your queries and all that, whatever is there, on the base what has been taught in the first 15 minutes uh, by the teachers, whosoever lesson is there and whosoever subject is there to be taught. So students, as it is an English class, so in all the three sections, my this first video will go with English to English, okay? Because it's an English class. But uh, in case if... Uh, if any student would have problem of not understanding English to English as well and you want me to be bilingual uh, means a bit Hindi also or English also. So after listening uh, the first day video, please give a comment to me there and I will be uh, I will be bilingual that from the next two videos. Okay, next the coming videos I will be bilingual on your request if you request me otherwise it's an English class and you people are of English medium school so I'm preferring English to English only but if you find it not like not able to understand and so because we are making you to make you understand only the things main motto behind is this in the classroom also and here in the online classes also so students uh, before I begin anything else I would like to tell you uh, first of all let me introduce the books with you uh, let me introduce me myself first I'm Sangeeta Puri ma'am yeah, your English teacher for these online classes. So, in all the days, I'll be telling you whatever a chapters, poem or whatsoever is there in your English subject for class 9. I'll be with you. So, be in touch with me, whatever your queries are there or whatsoever. So, students, today, uh, first of all, uh, let me introduce you the books first. Uh, two books we have in this uh, class 9th English syllabus. The first book is Beehive. Uh, the main book in which you will be having chapters also, poem also and all that. And another supplementary book you are having that is Moments. In which you will be having chapters only, stories and all that. So, uh, as last year also, previous year also and in the coming years also, NCRT are not promoting any grammar books. So, we don't have any grammar books over there. Grammar, we are, teachers themselves are teaching you and making you practice on the grammar part. 
and uh, student it's a request of mine to you either offline or online wheresoever you can arrange grammar material for you for practicing please arrange or please keep on practicing every day don't let a single day go without practicing your grammar because that's very important because to make you in touch with the grammar is to make you in touch with the writing habits also if you will not so you will forget everything else so please don't take it lightly wheresoever you can available in this lockdown situation also please don't keep yourself away from your grammar basically grammar and the basic grammar which we are discussing in day to day life clear everyone so let's move on with the first book students uh, i'm starting today with the first poem i'm not ready with the chapters first chapters will be later on first let's have a very interesting poem let's start our first day with an interesting poem first okay so the name of the first poem in the book that the poem is in the book be hive and the first poem is the road not taken the road not taken and the poem is written by robert frost now the who is robert frost robert frost is an american poet fine and uh, generally he writes about it means the theme generally which his poem contains are generally common or day to day life material he used to take that today the road not taken is also a very common uh, like theme over there and uh, one more example i would like to give of mending walls mending wall one of my favorite poem of uh, robert frost he has written about that wall he and his neighbor is uh, every time they create a boundary wall uh, which differentiate or which divide their boundaries of their way of living but gradually they find after some time after few months they found the wall has been broken or has been destroyed either by the nature or by the animal and by the so on so he just wanted to make in that poem also explain that that is a that is a uh, that even nature don't want to divide us in boundaries so be together so with a very simple poem he he uh, made a quite a huge statement fine let's come back to the present poem present poem is all about two roads a uh, students uh, today i'm not going to start with the stanzas line by line reading and to explanation no not like that class 9th even knows very well how do i teach so let's get you know first today i'm not starting any teaching today i'm just giving you a condition and that condition will be based on that poem fine condition is this uh, you are standing at the center suppose this is you you are standing at the center fine and where you are standing you are finding two roads one goes to your left side ah this is my right your will be left okay another goes to the right side yours right my left don't confuse okay condition is this you are standing here you have to select one only either right or left one more condition you can't come back to join another road or to check another road or to enjoy another road once only you have to decide either this or that got it now let me give you a brief what are the uh, things are there in the, both the roads let's begin with my right hand side road okay that road is filled with attractions when you start walking on that road you will find a huge attractions on the way eatables drinkables whatever things you want to enjoy in your life like ice cream parlors are there beautiful gardens are there benches are there to sit on beds are there to sleep on whenever you feel thirsty you have a lot of cold drinks offering to you when you feel uh, hungry you find pizza burger whatever you want whatever you demanded the things are there on the way to you you're fully enjoying whenever you want to walk on the garden you can when you want when you feel that you can't walk you sit you have lot of seats shady leaves are there under which you are sitting so means a comfort zone is there you are keep on walking enjoying eating dancing music is there 
or your favorite uh, thelas are there of uh, uh, whatsoever tikki golgappas and whatsoever you are habitual to have on them momos i forget to add that the favorite one of most of you most probably so you keep on walking on that and uh, but uh, after some time you find a place where uh, all things are finished greenery is over the eatable drinkable everything is finished and then you find a desert no trees no drinkable no eatables nothing no grass on the way you are also barefooted you have nothing to wear on your foots you are walking the sun is scorching and due to that scorching the sand is boiling when you are keeping your feet on that it's you are unable to walk on that because it's itching or it's burning your toes also your legs also but you have to keep on walk and uh, after walk you have a deep ditch over there you will fell down there either you stand there or burn yourself under the scorching of the sun on the desert only or you fell down on the ditch and die forever and you can't move back to your comforts again that is what i told you as much you will walk one condition is there you can't walk back this is what condition let's move on to another road another road is you found it's quite bushy huge bushes are there trees are there long grass are there and when you will from here when you are standing and you are having a look on there you will find nobody goes there hardly people choose that road why because if people would have chosen that road so it must be having a way of walking you must have observed where so ever people are paddling it creates a walk way but here you find because hardly people choose that road so nobody walks over there but if you select that road you have to create path yourself you have to clear the grass bushes thorns are also there that a lot of hard work you have to do the thing is over you are clearing the things over there keeping the things aside making the way for you a huge hard work you will be doing no water no drinkable no comfort you are having no place to sit you have to keep on walking for many kilometers over there keep on walking then comes up the desert also then desert also having the same condition as we have in the first room. desert is a scorching the sun is blooming and all that you keep on walking on that but after finishing all this you will find a comfort zone same comfort zone which you found in the first row there the comfort zone is at the last and everlasting nobody is going to take those comfort zone from you you will keep enjoy it till the end of your life all that comfort zone now the question is for you which road you will select and with that you have to answer why i'm remember be repeating which road you will select and why and the answer must be honest fine on the based of your answer we will start our next session of tomorrow's video clear everyone so that's all for today good day